Yo, what is up guys? I'm Chef Vapor. Welcome back to the channel. So I thought we would try something a little bit different and new today. Um, that's why the camera is looking the way it is. Um, I needed to re-wick my coils on my Kennedy. Um, so I thought, you know, while I'm doing this, I'm going to take the opportunity and make a video on how to do that. Um, so this is assuming that you've already have your coils built. Maybe you bought a deck that's pre-built. Maybe you already know how to build. Maybe you're just looking for tips and tricks on how to wick, stuff like that. Um, this one, I'm running on the Kennedy. I love the Kennedy, as you guys all know that. So these are the coils that I've been running with. Um, this is my favorite setup. These are dual Alien Clapton 7 wraps. They come out to a .31 or a .29, somewhere around there. Um, I love this build a lot. It's phenomenal for flavor as well as cloud. Um, but these are the coils I've been rocking with. I just cleaned them up, got them all pretty looking again. And we're going to go ahead and wick this. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to this video. So we're just going to go ahead and start doing it. Um, I personally like to use um, Japanese cotton. They're uh, like little puffs that come in squares. Um, I already cut this one, so I can't show you what it actually looks like when it's full. Um, but they're little squares, probably about that big, probably about that big. You can get them on Amazon for like $4 for like 200 of them. They come straight from Japan, so you'll be waiting on shipping for a while. But the, the quality of the cotton is very, very good. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I go ahead and cut the cotton. As I said before, I already cut this, but basically the way you want to measure it out is that you're going to kind of measure the cotton to your coil. And you want this cotton strip to be about two and a half times the size of the coil. That's a good kind of measurement system. Um, so this one's a good size. So with the Japanese cotton, you won't have to do this necessarily with the um, cotton bacon and other things like that. But with Japanese cotton, you want to go ahead and separate the very first layer. It's just a very, very thin layer. Just pull that off. As you can see, you can see through it. Very, very thin layer. You're going to do that on both sides of the cotton. There we go, as so. And then I like to kind of put the fluffies back where they belong. And then I take it in my hand, and then I pinch it, and I'm just going to roll it. Kind of give a nice firm grip on it, just roll it up like that. Then you've got something that looks like this. Now the way you rolled it, you're going to kind of pinch it on both ends like this, and twist it so it gets nice and tight, and you're going to find whichever end looks like it's a little bit tighter and easier for you to work with. In this case it looks like this one is in pretty solid form. So we're going to start with this one. And we are just going to take it and lead it through that coil and go from there. So I like to twist this up one last time, get it nice and firm, poke it through, and twist the same way that you twisted your cotton, just like that. That kind of helps lead it through. And then you'll tug it, and then you want it about centered. So you're going to kind of back and forth this a little bit. Again, this is assuming that you already have your coils built, their hot spots are already out, everything's ready to go, you're just waiting on wicking at this point. So then you rock it back and forth. The key to wicking here is that you want it strong enough or you want it tight enough that when you pull the cotton, it's going to pull the RDA and the mod with it. But you don't want it too tight that when you hold this, it's going to bend the coil. See how that's going through? That's what we want. So we're just going to feather it back and forth a few times. Then I untwist it, unwrap it doesn't have to be perfect just kind of fluff it up a little bit same with this end here and then kind of bend them out of the way and then we're gonna work on the other side now this one I already have pre-rolled so we're just gonna tighten this one back up Then we'll do the same thing on this side lead it through kind of screw it in there a little bit it's giving you trouble there we go Again, this one is strong enough to pull both sides, but when you hold it, it comes through just fine. We're going to fluff this guy up. There we go. We want it to be about equal on both sides. And then we're going to trim this cotton. So the way I like to measure it is I like to kind of pull the cotton down and measure it with like the bottom ring where the RDA top would sit. That's where I like to cut it. And I also like to cut it at an angle. Um, so I'm gonna come in here like this, chop it at an angle, chop it at an angle, 
Now also keep in mind that if it, this is your first time or you are practicing, a little bit longer is better than a little bit too short. So if you gotta make a second cut, no big deal. But don't cut it too short. There we go, we got this all cut up and ready to go. Now, as you can see, there are fresh cuts. So they look a little bit weird. So I like to come in with my tweezers or scissors or a screwdriver, anything that you gotta lay around. You can even use your fingers, but I like to come in and just kind of fluff that end a little bit. That way it's nice and fluffy again. It's gonna help absorb that juice. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Doesn't have to be pretty or perfect. Just get it a little bit fluffy. That looks pretty good. So now we're gonna take these and we're just gonna fold them, kind of fold them and tuck them. So I'm gonna bend it, fold it, and tuck it into place just like that. Bend it, fold it, and tuck it into place. Now again, as I said before in the video, this is on my Kennedy deck, so this is gonna be a great show for anybody running a Kennedy or a Kennedy style. However, if you aren't running a Kennedy style, that's okay. As long as you're not trying to re-wick an RDTA or any kind of rebuildable tank, but you're actually re-wicking a dripper, it's going to be very similar to this. You just fold and tuck, fold and tuck. There we go. Now, the final thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that it's tucked in there well, but you don't want it tucked in super tight. Like, you don't want it tight like that. That's no good. The cotton can't breathe. It's not going to soak up juice for you. So you want it a little bit fluffy. And then the last thing you want to do is if you look underneath your coils, let me see if I can get the camera to focus on it. There we go. If you look underneath your coils, you can see that space right there. You want to be able to see through that space to the other side. See how you can see all the way through it? You can see my finger. See the tweezers? You want to be able to see through that. So just make sure there's no cotton underneath it. That's going to let it breathe. Same thing on this side. They look pretty good. So now, the last thing we got to do is juice her up and rip on it. And that's all there is to it, guys. Wicking 101, super, super simple. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Always subscribe and keep on vaping, guys. Thank you so much.